I hope in another life I'm married. He's like weirdly really smiling at me. Sweetie, sweetie. Um, well, here's a fun one for you. What's your opinion on cancel culture? <laughs> Is that fun? <laughs> I don't know. The um, pits just keep on coming. I feel like it's really interesting how people just want to feel righteous and don't necessarily care if they are being righteous. Or correct. And I feel like um, it's interesting how we know that social media, for example, like on Instagram, for the most part, I'm sharing like highlights or pretty parts of my day. Sure. And then like, I'm not showing you what I look like when I first wake up in the morning. And I'm not showing you when I'm like so stressed out to the point of like, tears over all the like reading and homework that I have to get done by 3 p.m. the next day Mm -hmm. and I and it's not that I put it off I just genuinely like can't keep up like there are these moments in like our days and in our weeks and in our lives that just aren't Instagram story worthy so what you see is this highlight reel and that's not a new thing or concept I've made up by any means but it's like we forget that and just assume that based on someone's highlight reel, especially, like, because now, you know, I've been on Instagram for, like, years and years since, like, high school or whatever, and you can go back and look at old pictures and old comments and whatever, and it's, like, that's, like, a different person in a different part of my life and a different, with different career goals, dating a different person, and, and you can, I just feel like you could certainly, like, pull things from my life and my past and put them on a slideshow and make me look really awesome. Or you could do that and make me look like a horrifying person. And it's really all about like, not context, but really like a lack of context and a lack of knowing a whole person. Mm. Because you just know a part of a person, person that that person decided to share. Yeah. And, and then you just take it for what it is. And like, I think the cancel culture is so interesting in that way because we decide as a public to judge a person or make like sweeping, um, give sweeping titles to a person based on a piece of them um, and like a period or pieces of periods of their life. And, um, and it's just like gavel to the wood. That's it Mm. done. This is what you are. We label you as this. And that just is (laughs) because, um, because public opinion can be so powerful and that just relates to a whole larger, like political conversation of like people seeking power. And it, it's like, it just really reminds me of politics because it's like, Trump, it's no secret that I don't, I didn't vote for Trump and I don't agree with a lot of what Trump has done in in office and I'm so glad that he's not staying. (laughs) And um, it's like, it's really interesting to watch him speak and it's like, it doesn't really matter if it's true or not, it just is out there now. So it's a news headline. And that's what cancel, cancel culture reminds me of is like, it doesn't matter if it's true or not what the public opinion says, that's what the quote unquote they have labeled a person as So that's what that person is, period. And there really is no fighting with a public opinion because it's not even real or based in necessarily like fact or, again, just like a whole person. It's based in pieces of a person's life. And I think it's really hard to watch people interact in social media in such negative and hateful and bullyish ways <laughs> and it they think it's all in the name of justice and it's like well it's really interesting to see people fighting harassment with harassment or fighting hate with hate and I guess someone could argue that you have to but I just don't I don't agree with the way people have taken to the internet to be these kind of um cyber bullies and just think that they're like the judges of all people that they don't even know. Well, yeah. Well, because a lot of them, they don't look at it like they're not bullying because they're doing it for justice. And that's, I mean, that's the case throughout any of like any of the comedians and stuff that have got attacked. I think they think they are though. Like they think they are. No, that's what I'm saying. Like they're not, but 
they don't look at what they're doing. Like they can go and tell somebody to go kill themselves. And to them that it's like, that's not bad yeah. because like, like kind of that, that, that bit of like, they think you're killing babies in there. Like that's a real thing. Like they're a so CK joke, by the way. Yeah. They're just so tur- yeah, perfect. They're just so turned up by it that like, there's no explaining that, you know, Hey, there's a different side to the story or there's a, like, maybe you misunderstood that, or maybe the whole thing is getting twisted or, Hey, maybe you're just flat out like going off of bullshit. Like this or maybe isn't you're real right. at all. Maybe maybe something someone said was idiotic, but it doesn't make yeah. them a monster or a bad person. But they um, think it does. So correct. like when they go really hard at it, like they're not. Yeah, I mean, I'm just addressing the bully as being. No, bully totally. Thing. I just I think um, what has really really disheartened me and a big, um, definitely a big pull in that sort of like angry anxious direction for me personally is seeing people use the internet to tell people to kill themselves Yeah, because I, I, I will never and no one will ever make me understand how a person on the internet tells another person who they don't know or who they do know. I don't give a shit tells anyone to kill themselves in response to something that they've just decided they don't like or is a bad joke or a crime, like a crime, sure, say a crime has been committed and there's evidence and this person's, like, gone to court and they're convicted. I mean, like, my, the man who killed my brother Jordan went to court. I sat in court a lot of the days that he, it was in session and listened to the proceedings and his confession and, um, and I still remember immediately thinking, I don't want the death penalty for him because I want him to live a whole life in jail thinking about what he's done and having to live with that because I do. So, and you know, that's, that's my personal opinion. It's not necessarily a sweeping opinion on death penalty or not that I'm just saying for this instance, I'd never been presented with having to think about what I thought of a topic like that. And and so for for me to feel like I didn't even want that guy who killed my younger brother to go kill himself. I wanted him to live with what he'd done, and I hoped that he would maybe learn something along the way, albeit in jail for the rest of his life. Sure. Um, so then for someone to, like, see a YouTube video, some, like, YouTube star made or, like, a TikTok thing or a joke on Twitter or whatever it is, not like it, whether it, it that's valid or not, and then go to that person and tell them you should go kill yourself yeah. will never make sense to me and will never be okay to me. And if you've ever been some just... If you've ever been someone who wrote to or said to anyone you should go kill yourself, you should go find a therapist and seek help immediately because I hope to everything good in the world that you can get help and right your wrongs and figure your shit out before someone takes your advice. And that's it. Like, yeah, that's, that's it. A, yeah. You'll have to continue on that. Um, a perfect segue out of that is what are some tips to find the perfect therapist? What questions do you, you just hateful that, you social, know, yeah. You, social media was just my place to, what am I doing? doing but, but. I feel like people want to listen. It's just there. there's a smaller group of people that are just so overly negative and overly just hateful that, you social, know. Yeah. You, it's, social media was just my place to outreach a lot of the projects and work and stuff. And now it just, social media has turned into such a weird, yeah. hateful, like, it's just a place that I get on every day and get mad because of, like, the news I see and the the stupid things people like post and share. Yeah. And it's just not like a fun place to be right now, but I'm trying to like sit in that because I do think it's like a reckoning in a way. I mean, it's not a fun place to be, but it's also, I mean, I'm completely off of it now, but like just depending on what you're looking at, I mean, it's so easy to just spiral down and look at all the negative stuff and like feed into that. But which I don't. Like, no, I, you do I a good job of avoiding that. I don't spiral, but even even in not spiraling, so I can't imagine someone who is what they're seeing or feeling. Yeah. But like, 
Yeah, just it, literally just watching the real live news of like what's going on yeah, it's terrible. in politics right now is infuriating. So then add on anything else, mm. and it's just hard to imagine right now like writing a book for fun and just yeah. like having a really like cute, fun, light marketing campaign and blasting my social media. Like it felt weird even when I was doing it because yeah. of the time. But it was like, what well, I did this thing. I'm not going to not put it out. I made it a fundraiser, so it felt more worthwhile for the time. Sure. But it still, just because of, like, costs and, like, shipping all, all these bundles, which was a great thing, it's just, like, it didn't turn out the way I meant for it to turn out in any way, shape, or form. So, so the answer to that, will you write another book with more recipes <sighs> two hours later? Yes. Hope to. <laughs> 